Oh. Hi guys. It is a gorgeous summer night. A little bit of rain. Hallelujah. Here in paradise, here in the end times, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, where it is, good God, what the hell is it? It is Thursday night, August 25th, somewhere like that. So, uh, Anyway, guys, it just, uh, I just have to go down this rabbit hole every now and then here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, as hard as it is uh, for me to resist not going down here uh, a lot more than I do. As most of you probably know, I, uh... I used to be a hell of a lot more into UFOs and space aliens and all of this shit than I am into this doom and gloom stuff. Uh, good God, if you think I'm bad with the doom and the gloom and all that shit, you should have heard me when I was into this space alien stuff and I finally, this after 20 years down that, that bottomless rabbit hole, you know, you just reach a point, whether it's space aliens, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, whatever, you, you just finally hit the wall eventually. But every once in a while, uh, one of these things bleeds through, and uh, they're on the mainstream media. Uh, well, sort of the mainstream media, although Yahoo News is running this story from Motherboard. Motherboard is a, uh, a branch of Vice News, so not exactly mainstream media, not exactly alternative. This is Vice News from their tech desk. You know, Motherboard is usually stuff about computers and all of that, so I don't know why they're throwing the UFO stories into Motherboard. Uh, well, I guess technology, UFOs, I guess I get the connection. But anyway, uh, good old Vice News is go running with this one, and I'm uh, going to put the link on here. It's not a long story. Uh, but for those of you wondering what in the hell these fucking things are. And, 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 and guys, you know, if it, it's kind of like Bigfoot. If one UFO space alien story is true, one, one uh, out of the hundred million, uh, if one of them is true, it doesn't matter if the other 99.9999999999% are bullshit. If one of these fucking stories is true, it's the, well, it's not the biggest story in uh, the history of humanity. That would, of course, be the collapse of a planet. Uh, but, you know, a runner-up, the second biggest story in the planet. So this is either... you. Either UFOs are complete, 100% unadulterated horseshit, or they're not. And if they're not, uh, it, it's some pretty wild shit that there's these fucking little goblins flying around coming here from other planets and shit. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I wish they would... Uh, identify what the problem is on the planet and take care of it and maybe they will soon enough. So what is the latest from the UFO files that has caught Vice News and Yahoo News's attention today? Take it away Vice. <clears throat> Congress admits Congress admits that UFOs are not man-made, says threats are increasing exponentially. Okay, is this the latest fear-mongering, or uh, what the hell is it? So what is this all about? 
The new budget for America's intelligence service directs the Pentagon to focus its UFO investigations on those objects that it cannot identify. Imagine, imagine that. Okay. After years of revelations about strange lights in the sky, first-hand reports from Navy pilots about UFOs and governmental investigation, Congress seems to have admitted something startling in print. It does not believe all UFOs are, quote, man-made. Buried deep in a report, and they have a lot of links in here. You know, you can link to read the whole thing. Buried deep in a report that itself is an addendum to the Intelligence Authorization Act for fiscal year 2023, a budget that governs America's clandestine services, Congress made two startling claims. The first is that, and you, and you gotta love these terms that uh, government bureaucrats, who the fuck came up with this term? This is directly from a U.S. congressional report buried in, uh, in some bill. The first is that, quote, cross-domain transmedium threats to the United Nations national security are expanding exponentially, close quote. The cross-domain transmedium threat sounds kind of like a tranny rant. Uh, cross-domain transmedium threats. So I guess we have some anti-tranny language here uh, that maybe there, what is, anyway, I think maybe we get a definition here in a little while. Okay, the second, the second startling claim is that it wants to distinguish between UFOs that are human in origin and those that are not. Here we go again, guys, where we just dealt with cross-domain transmedium threats to the U.S. And now, how about this one, quote, temporary non-attributed objects, temporary non-attributed objects, what the fuck does that mean, or those that are positively identified as man-made after analysis will be passed to appropriate offices and should not be considered under the definition as, here we go again, this is what it's all about, as unidentified aerospace undersea phenomenon. The close quote, the document states, aerospace to undersea phenomena. I anybody who has studied, who has been down in the UFO rabbit hole, will know what they're talking about. Uh, there's been accounts going back decades about these goddamn UFOs. They're flying around, zipping around. Uh, the sky above the ocean, and then they go whap, and they disappear beneath the waves. Or the, the flip side of that is they're buzzing around under the water, and they come flying out from underneath the ocean and go flying off into space. There's been reports of these for decades, and they have a link in here to one of these videos, a, a one of these Navy uh pilot videos is right here in the story. You can go you can go watch it. These Navy pilots filmed one of these things. One of these damn flying saucers or whatever you want to call these things flying around. They're watching it. They're filming it and the son of a bitch dives into the ocean. And I guess that this is the one that has finally uh, caught people's attention. 
the uh, one more time the unidentified aerospace undersea phenomena. The admission is stunning chiefly because as more information about the U.S. government's study of UFOs has become public, many politicians have stopped just short of claiming the unidentified objects were extraterrestrial or extra dimensional in origin. And since this article doesn't take off with that one, I'm not going to go very far. The extra dimensional uh, school of thought about what the hell these things are. And I... Uh, Actually, in my own life, towards the end of my dealing with UFOs and space aliens, was that I have become uh, a little bit more convinced that these little fuckers are extra dimensional. Uh, anybody uh, interested in this needs to read the DMT, the spirit molecule by uh, Dr. Rick Strassman, but I'm not going to get off into that whole rant about the extra-dimensional origin of whoever these little fuckers are. The standard line, the standard line is typically that if UFOs do exist, then they are likely advanced although human-made vehicles. <clears throat> Farag Obama refused to confirm the existence of aliens, but he did say that people have seen a lot of strange stuff in the sky lately. Yes, when asked directly on The Late Show with James Corden. But now, Congress seems to want to specifically distinguish between objects that are, quote, man-made and those that are not. Okay, so what is the definition of a cross-domain transmedium threat? <clears throat> a cross-domain transmedium threat is one that by the Pentagon's own definition, can move from water to air to space in ways we, meaning humans, do not understand. In July, the Pentagon announced it was opening the All Domain Anomaly Resolutions Office. <sighs> And they have a link to that, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office to investigate these threats. The bill would reclassify unidentified aerial phenomenon, which is, you know, the government's new term for UFOs, as unidentified aerospace to undersea phenomena and rename the Pentagon's office in line with the new designation. Last year, a leaked video that was confirmed by the big Pentagon as being authentic appeared to show a UFO seamlessly flying beneath the waves. And you can go on and look at that video. Senator Marco Rubio, who strangely enough is the vice chair of the Senate Select Committee overseeing intelligence, there you go, that issued the report, has publicly said he wants the UFOs to be aliens and not foreign weapons. A large question, of course, is why Congress is seemingly admitting this now in public. After all, lawmakers are privy to classified information that the general public, unless you're Donald Trump, is not. Quote, 
This is, uh, okay, this is Marik von Redenkopf, an Obama-era Department of Defense official uh, in an op-ed in The Hill. Quote, it strains credulity to believe that lawmakers would include such extraordinary language in public legislation without compelling evidence. <coughs> this implies that members of the Senate Intelligence Committee believe on a unanimous bipartisan basis that some UFOs have non-human origins. After all, why would Congress establish and task a powerful new office with investigating non-man-made UFOs <coughs> if such objects did not exist? Make no mistake. One branch of the American government implying that UFOs have non-human origins is an explosive development, close quote. There you go. <coughs> uh, it sounds like the comments, you know, buried deep in this legislation were first noticed by UFO researcher Douglas Johnson. I, I'm happy to say I have never heard of Douglas Johnson. I used to know every one of these guys. Uh, I'd read all of their books and uh, good God, and I guess this is the newest uh, generation of uh, these guys. Okay. A bipartisan group of U.S. legislators has long put pressure on the Pentagon to figure out what the strange lights are that Americans are seeing in the sky. In 2021, the Department of Defense issued a report detailing more than 100 sightings that it investigated. It said some of what it studied could not be explained with current scientific models and ask for more time and money to study the phenomenon. Congress has now given it to them and now it's asking the Pentagon to focus only on those objects that have not been designed by human hands. So there you go, guys. Uh, you can sit here and laugh this off uh, that, uh, you, you know, any of these UFO people are a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, lunatic whack jobs, and you would be correct 99 out of 100 times. You would be correct. My guess is that 99% of the space alien UFO buffs are lunatics. And it doesn't matter, as I say. Uh, we need one of these things. Just like, you, you know, we need a Bigfoot. We, we need, of course, people say we, we've got Bigfoots. They say we've got bodies of space aliens and all the rest. What do you think, little dog? You want to be abducted by a space alien and taken away from here? And he goes, as long as there's chippies on, uh, I want to go to Planet Chippy. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your, uh, what's it called? Get out there and enjoy your, I love that term. Uh, I've already forgotten it. Anyway, now I don't know how to find it. Uh, Cross-domain transmedium threats. And notice they never did define what in the fuck is a temporary non-attributed 
object. Nowhere was that defined. Yeah, so log. Anyway, I gotta go and get back to Netflix and watch some Ancient Aliens episode. My guys. Ugh. Jesus. Yes, little dog. What do you think about the UFOs? Hey, Bob. I think UFOs are about get as much of my attention as Bigfoot. <laughs>